Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to determine equivalent fractions. But first, let's have a drill on multiplication. Twenty five. Twenty seven. Forty-eight Ninety Let's have a review What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are different fractions that represent the same part of a whole or the same value even though the numbers in the fractions may be different, they are equal in value. Now, let's determine equivalent fractions. Using this method, the cross multiplication, multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction, and vice versa. If the products are the same, then the fractions are equivalent. Let us know if 3 6 and 5 tenths are equivalent fractions using the cross multiplication 3 times 5 is 30 5 times 6 is 30 they both have 30 as products that means these fractions are equivalent how about 4 9 and 3 tenths 4 times 10 is 40 3 times 9 is 27 the products are different that means these fractions are not equivalent 5 tenths and 4 eighths. 5 times 8 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40. They both have 40 as products. That means the fractions are equivalent. 9 times 5 is 45. 11 times 4 is 44. That means these fractions are not equivalent. 2 times 10 is 20. 5 times 4 is 20. They both have 20 as product. That means these fractions are equivalent. Let's try. Are the fractions equivalent? Say yes if they are equivalent and no if they are not. No. Yes. Yes. No. Activity time. Activity number one. Choose the correct pair of the given fraction to make it equivalent.
Let's answer. Number one is two thirds. Number two is two fourths. Number three is two tenths. Number four is three fifths. And number five is one half. Activity number two. Complete the equivalent fraction by filling in the missing numerator or denominator. Let's answer. Number 1 is 6. Number 2 is 5. Number 3 is 25. Number 4 is 3. And number 5 is 2. Activity number 3. Say equivalent or not. Let's answer. Number 1 is not. Number 2 is equivalent. Number 3 is not. Number 4 is equivalent. Number 5 is equivalent. Always remember, when determining equivalent fractions using cross-multiplication, remember to multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction, and vice versa. Compare the two cross-products. If they are equal, the fractions are equivalent. This method works because it verifies the proportional relationship between the fractions. Always ensure you perform the multiplications accurately and only compare the products without simplifying or altering the fractions before cross-multiplying. Thank you so much for watching! Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page! Happy learning!